how to protect your vacant property from unwanted guests when your property is listed for sale. Hi everybody, I am Denise Watkins. I'm with the Watkins Team RE at Samson Properties and welcome to the Watkins Team YouTube channel. And on this episode, I'm gonna talk about how you can protect your vacant property from unwanted guests. Tip number one, you wanna install a monitoring CCTV. It can protect your property day and night and it can provide you with vital evidence should anyone attempt to gain unlawful access to your property. Now, some people use the Ring, ADT, Blink, but there are so many systems out there. You just have to find one that's gonna be the best fit for you and your property. So tip number two, you want to befriend the neighbor. You want to ask the neighbor to keep an eye on the property. Give them your contact information. Get theirs. Ask them to contact you if they should see anything suspicious. Now, some neighbors will give that information. They'll give you the date, time, or any occurrence of that property. But then again, some neighbors won't. Okay, now before I go into... Um, step number three, I just want to share a story with you. I mean, it's a true story. So uh, it was happened to me on one of my listings. It was a vacant property that I had listed in Upper Marlboro. And five days prior to closing, I received a call from the owner saying they believe someone has moved in the house. I said, that can't be possible. We don't have a pre-occupancy agreement. So let me run over there and check it out. So I get over there, I arrived to the property. And when I got there, I noticed that there were there was a car in the, in the driveway. I could hear the air conditioning running. I saw the lights on. I peeked through the window. There was a TV. Um, the TV was on. And I was just shocked. I just stood there because I could not believe that this was the first time this was happening to me. And as soon as I regained my composure, I knocked on the door. And there was a really nice gentleman who answered the door. And we talked. And what I learned during our conversation was that he had answered an ad on Craigslist. And he had met a gentleman at the property the gentleman gave him a lease the keys to the property and he gave the gentleman his security deposit and first month rent so you know it was a shocker to him that he had been scammed and fortunately we were able to assist him and you know relocating him getting him out um, but i have to say that the story could have ended very differently because there have been cases where people have moved into um, a property, they have been scammed, and they don't want to move out. So then you have to file an eviction. So that's a true story. It happened to me. And there are more stories like this, but like I said, this is one of the stories that ended, ended well. So we were able to go to closing in the five days, and my, my uh, client was very happy with that. So tip number three, you want to visit the property. You want to make frequent visits to the property if you're in the area. Now, if you're not in the area, you can ask a friend or relative to drive by to see if they see anything unusual. And tip number four, you wanna hire a security guard some company. Now, this could probably be the most expensive route to go, but I am beginning to see a lot of this in certain communities. You can have the security guard service um, do a drive by the property routinely, or you can have them to patrol the property during a specific time. Now for me, the cheaper route to go is to hire a house sitter. Now it could be somebody you know, um, somebody who wouldn't mind making an extra few dollars just to watch your house while it's vacant. Now maybe you've moved out of your house and it hasn't sold yet, or maybe your house is undergoing a major renovation, but whatever the reason for leaving your house vacant, it is very important to remember to protect it while you're gone. And remember, a vacant home is vulnerable to vandalism, theft, and unauthorized entry. Now I would like to hear from you. How are you protecting your vacant property? Do you have a monitoring system? Yes, no, maybe? Well, let me know in the comments below. And by the way, if you're selling your house, I have a free home seller's guide to give you. I would encourage you to go to the link below, order a copy, and it's free. Okay, my friend, I post new videos here every Friday, so be sure to subscribe to my channel. And until then, I will see you next Friday or sooner. Bye.